Pressing and then pressing. And to Fatty. Nice tackling, young lad. Lovely. Little dink just over his hands. Bottom right corner. Bailey. Swinging it in. Pass it. Yeah, there we go. Messi. Back to Dembele. Thought well, we were going to turn and strike, but it was all about Dembele. Awesome. There's you go. Messi on the right hand side now. Oh. Oh, he done him. <laughs> he done him. A goal? Yeah, of course it is. It's Messi. The goat. All right. Don't pass too much, lads. We'll tackle you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right, then, Sandro. Swinging it in. Big swinging. On the head of Ronaldo. Go on. There he is. Oh, it's not on the head, but it was on the feet. I was nearly right. I was nearly right. Arthur. Kenny, right hand side, swinging it in. Dybala or is it going to go to Ronaldo? Dybala, header on the Ronaldo. Easy, easy. Oh, that's a free kick, straight in. Of course it is. <laughs> right, Dybala on the left hand side now to Kulizewski. A uh, young wonder kid, actually. A brilliant wonder kid. Uh, straight in to Dybala. Nice sliding goal. Right then, hello everybody. So that was the highlights. This is the Holy Ghost fire tactic from, you've guessed it, Nap. Um, he does a lot of tactics, so you can check him out. FM Scax has got his own table there. And the download links will all be in the descriptions for you. But if you can't download it, we'll go through all of the instructions in just a sec. So first, the teams that are going to be a part of this test is Juventus and Verona. Obviously, the top dog, small dog, so the usual. Barcelona and Levante. And then Grimsby and Hull in a couple of the lower leagues in the uh, English leagues. Um, so, yeah, fully expecting it to do pretty good because it's a nap tactic. He uh, somehow knows ways how to uh, make them pretty effective. So let's get on then with the instructions for those of you that can't download. Advance forward left. Advance forward right. Winger left. Winger right. Central midfielder. Deep line playmaker. Inverted wing back left. Inverted wing back right. Central defender left. Central defender right. And sweeper keeper. So there's not actually a lot of instructions on these players. So that actually gives you a little bit of leeway if you fancied tweaking it a little bit just to suit your team a little bit more. Obviously, if you've got some inverted wing backs that maybe can do the job a little bit better than what they've got. Just edit, get further forward. Obviously, so instead of them coming here, they may come round here. Kind of thing, you, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You know, the Trent Alexander-Arnolds, those kind of players. Um, so, yeah, brilliant tactic, 4-1-3-2 or 4-4-2, or whichever way you look at it. Um, I like this tactic, it did very well, uh, a variation of this anyway. Uh, before all the patches but we all know it's the new winter update now all the new patches are out so anything can change um so when i come to pick teams uh, the best 11 all i do is pick without restriction best 11 and that will pretty much give you kind of the right team um a little bit of switching around every now and again obviously because it's it's your preferences you might like ronaldo playing on this left hand side or going back to the old style of ronaldo on that left it's all up to you but obviously if it's not there it's better here uh, so on and so forth so let's get everything back to normal i'll sort that out in a sec uh so yeah that's the tactic for the individual instructions let's go to set pieces corners defending right and left and attacking left and right the bear wolf 442 system free kicks defending right and left and attacking left and right, that's direct. Obviously, it's a mixed free kicks. Direct, small chance of shot. Uh, right and left. And that will be the taker is aiming also for mixed. Wide, left and right. And then deep, right and left. And that's also mixed. If you go to the corners on the attacking right and left, you are aiming for the near post. Throwing instructions, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And as you can see, it's a beer wolf 442 system again. So it's the long throw-ins. So the tactic then is an attacking mentality tactic. In possession, fairly wide attack and width, passing to space on the approach play. Overlapping left and right will play out defence. Slightly shorter passing direction with extremely high tempo. So you're going to hope to play fast possession football. Uh, low crosses in the final third, work ball into box and run at the defence on the dribbling. Uh, in transition, counter-press and counter, obviously. Uh, and your goalkeeper's 
uh, instructions are to distribute to the fullbacks and then out of possession use offside track with a much higher line of engagement high defensive line and force opposition outside on the defensive width uh, extremely urgent pressing intensity would prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction is on guys so yeah that's the tactic they're the teams um hopefully everything does pretty well and i'll see you at the end of the season Right then, let's start off in the Italian Serie A, where we've got Juventus and Verona, obviously the top dog, small dog, where Juventus are predicted first and they have come first. All right, when you put a plug and play tactic into Juventus, uh, hopefully you can pretty much expect them to top the tables because they're a great team in the league that they're in. Verona, kind of the underdog, 16th, all right, just above relegation places, fourth place, European Champions Cup next season. What a season they had so top threes then for both uh, teams is Ronaldo came top of the goals with 32 then you've got Kalinic and Lasagna all right I was gonna say not gonna lie guys when I first seen him I was gonna say Lasagna and I thought no that's wrong Lasagna's got an E in it so I made sure to get this one right it is Lasagna <laughs> Uh, 31 and 27 goals of Verona players there. Uh, Dybala coming third on average ratings with Dybala uh, coming second and first with assists and player of the matches as well with 15 and 11. Nice one there. So let's have a look at Juventus' competitions first. European Champions Cup, they're the runners up. I'm not going to show you why they're the runners up because it might spoil it for a, a little bit later on. So uh, Italian Cup winners. Uh, they beat Lazio in the final 2 0. And then Italian Cup. Uh, they were also the winners, uh, beat Napoli 3-1 in the final. So they ended up getting the treble. It would have been nice to get all competitions, but we'll, we'll know why in a little bit later. Uh, so yeah, treble, awesome. You can't moan at that. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of the schedules then, let's have a look at some of the big results against Verona first and head-to-head. -head. First time, it was a 4-1 win for Juventus against Verona. And the second time he played, near the end of the season, it was actually a one all draw. Decent there. I just spoiled it, didn't I? Oh, I've just spoiled it. You know, so we'll have a look at that in a sec then. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, some good big results as well. Benevento, 7-1. Uh, Udinese looks 6-2 there. Napoli, 4-1. 5-2 against Real Madrid. 4-0 against Verona. Yeah, you got some big results. 6-0 against Napoli. Well done. Uh, great tactic. Holy Ghost fire by Nap. Don't forget, guys. So uh, Check out all the tactics on the FM Scat website and then if we go to squad how did the squad do in performances and average ratings overall all right actually not as good as i thought best player being dybala uh, 7.68 then ronaldo after him uh, biggest goal scorers is ronaldo and dybala 55 and 37 the two strikers biggest assists dybala kaiser uh, and quadrado uh, 28 14 13 then obviously sandro kulusevsky um, and Ronaldo as well, all getting into double digits. I don't know if I'm saying some of these names right, but yeah, you always let me know in the comments anyway, don't you guys? <laughs> don't. Mm. Um, team report then, on a whole, absolutely awesome. Um, actually, when it comes to conceding, that's not as good as I've seen with the nap tactic. So obviously it's normally out here, so that you're conceding a little bit more. Double edge a little bit. So um, like quite a lot of his tactics are really a bit of a double edge. Uh, so goals per game 2.68 shots per game quite a lot as well just under on the pass completion there's not a lot of tactics that i've tested so far that are above 90 i think there's only one or two uh, so that's pretty much the norm especially with playing fast football that tends to happen uh, let's go to the analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical all right not as clinical as i thought you would be though but you're still in the right zones and then conceding uh, we are quiet and leaky, which is not where you want to be, actually. It's uh, like I said, we're not getting a lot of shots against us, but they are going in. And then, full stats, 159 goals with 67 conceded. And in the league, it was 102 and 45 conceded, which was only the sixth best. You would think with a team like Juventus, you would be top in everything, and you're not. So that might be a little bit of a downfall on the tactic, unfortunately. Just letting a little bit too much in, even by being a top team. Uh, so next up then, Verona, the underdogs, they've done absolutely fantastic. We've seen the players in the top threes, obviously, uh, Lasagna. <laughs> uh, they came fourth, awesome result, 74 points. They literally could have easily come third or second. All right, a couple more games in there. And uh, yeah, 
awesome. You can't really moan at qualifying for the European Champions League. How did they do in the competitions? I know they didn't win, but they did get to the semi-final uh, and lost that to Juventus, unfortunately. 6-1. That's a big result. 6-1. Um, so let's have a look at their schedule then. Some big teams maybe. Uh, so Lazio, great result. Inter, great result. Okay, 2-0, 3-1. Um, then you've got Atalanta, 3-2. Had a great end to the season, to be fair. Uh, they actually went unbeaten all the way from the start of March. So, yeah, can't moan at that. Awesome. Um, and then let's have a look. So big teams, Roma, drew against them. Torino, decent team, 3-0. Uh, Napoli again 4-1 so yeah they're getting some decent results against some of the big boys in this uh, Italian Serie A ah, nice one Verona let's have a look at the squad that's not too bad to be fair obviously I know one two three of the players are on loan but your best player is Kalinic uh, 34 goals 9 assists biggest goal scorers Kalinic and Lozana uh, 34 and 30 biggest creators in the team was uh, Lazovic and Ferroni uh, 13 and 10 there and then if we have a look at the team report, pretty much what I'm expecting. You're still getting a lot of goals because of the tactic. It helps out massively. Shots per game, you're still higher on the averages. Pass completion, you drop down to 83%. But when you ask a smaller team to play fast possession football, sometimes they can't handle it. Uh, and it may show in the numbers. And then conceding per game is also a little bit lower than the top ends. But with it being Verona, you can be a little bit more forgiven. And then analyst report scoring he's still in the right zones with aggressive and clinical and then conceding busy and leaky just though just so yeah i'm i'm happy at that because it would have been nice but also unrealistic to expect that they're going to be impenetrable for the team that they are and then full numbers is 104 goals and 67 conceded which yeah, not a lot on the goals, but 104 is still pretty good for the underdogs. And in the league, it was 90 goals scored, which was the second best, just behind Juventus, obviously. And then 57 conceded, which was the fifth worst. So let's go to Spain. Barcelona and Levante, how have they done? Expected for Barcelona. Levante, third place European Champions League qualification next season. Nice one, pretty much similar to uh, the Italian Serie A with Verona and Juventus. So Barcelona are always expected to win it, especially once again putting the nap tactic on them. Levante, incredible. Top three players, Messi, Gomez first and third on the goals, 37-26. Messi coming second with average ratings. Pjanic coming 18, having 18 assists, coming first there. And then Messi getting 14 player of the matches for Barcelona. What a legend he is. Uh, so let's go through Barcelona's competitions first. And this is what I actually meant by not showing you the Champions Cup, but you saw earlier. So Barcelona got everything. Everything that, that you can get in the first season, Barcelona got. They got the League, the Champions Cup, the Spanish Cup, and the Spanish Super Cup. Nothing else you can do. All right. The next thing would be to be unbeaten in the league. Uh, that's not always going to happen. It's pretty hard to get that uh, every now and again. So, yeah, Spanish Cup. They beat Atletico Madrid 4-0. Super Cup against Real San Sebastian. Barcelona 3, then 1. So, yeah, awesome. you got four Cups. you got the, is it the Quantuple? Not the Quantuple. Quadruple. Yeah, Quadruple. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. What am I on about? So, yeah, you've got the quadruple. Nice one for Barcelona. Schedule. Let's have a look at some of the big results then. Uh, first head-to-head -head against Levante. First time was 4-2. Second time you played him, it was 2-1. And third time you played him, it was 3-0. So every time you played the Levante, um, you've beat them. So, unfortunate for them. Well done for Barcelona. It was expected. Uh, big results then. So, 5-1 there. Sevilla, 5-0. Big result. Granada, 5-1. 7-2. His Palace. Uh, 6 0 against Girona. Sebastian, 4 0. 6 0 Pamplona. 5 1 Liverpool. 5 1 Liverpool. Liverpool are one of the teams that are one of the best on the game. And you've just won 5 1. <laughs> you lost against them the first time, nailed them the second time at home. So nice one there. Squad, let's have a look. All these players doing pretty well on the average ratings with Lionel Messi obviously being the best with 54 goals, 10 assists. Biggest goal scorers after Messi was Griezmann and Fatty, 32 and 21. Biggest creators, Pjanic, Griezmann, Dembele, uh, Alba, Coutinho, Pedri, Messi, all getting double digits with Pjanic getting 20 um, and the most out of everyone else in your team. Team report, that's more like it. Look, 
right at here. That's what I was expecting with Juventus. Nice one. Uh, if we go to analyst report, then scoring, aggressive and clinical is where you want to be. And then conceding, if we go here, quiet and impenetrable. So this tactic worked a treat um, for Barcelona, a lot better than at Juventus, unfortunately for Juventus. Well done to Barcelona. Uh, full stats then is 166 goals, 49 conceded in all competitions. Uh, and in the league, it was 112 goals scored with only 26 conceded. That is not bad at all. Uh, let's go to the underdogs then, or the mid-table team, Levante. Uh, yeah, the predicted 11. So they're a mid-table team. No way would you think that they would get um, European qualification to the Champions League, nonetheless. Not just Euro, uh, to the Champions League. So that's well done to them. Competitions, we know they didn't win. They went out against Barcelona in the fifth round of the Spanish Cup. Uh, let's have a look at their schedule then. So, don't I just see a 10 0 10 0 in the Spanish Cup first round. <laughs> Against a no one, but still 10 goals, still 10 goals. Um, big teams then. So, Atletico Madrid, 3-1. Awesome result. Valencia, 2-1. Nice. Uh, bigger teams, big teams. Real Madrid, how did you do against them? Uh, Drew against Real Madrid, 1-0. Uh, second time you played Real Madrid is 2-1 loss, unfortunately. That's a shame. Uh, Villarreal beat them 2-1. So, yeah, some, again, decent results. Atletico Madrid, 2-1. So, well done there to um, Levante squad decent not obviously I wanted more but you can't always get more when it's the underdogs for some reason uh, and not counting this guy because he is not at your team your best player was Campana I'm going to say he played 38 games 8 goals 12 assists biggest goal scorers Gomez and Marty 34 and 33 biggest creators Campana and uh, Bardi uh, 12 and 11 team report on a whole expected again all right with the underdogs everything's just smaller and everything's smaller you just goals per game is a little bit less than the top team shots is less than the top teams pass completion once again struggling there um, because of the fast football and then obviously you can see them more but it's all expected that's all pretty normal um, you've got to have a special tactic to be able to have matching general performances with the top team than you do with the underdog team uh, so yeah and then if we have a look here analyst report scoring we're still aggressive and clinical though just not getting as many shots off and then conceding uh quiet and leaky expected it's nice that we're not in the busy and leaky so quiet and leaky isn't too bad but we are edging towards it a little bit all right just a few more shots against us on the averages and we would have been in there so um yeah nice one there stats was 104 goals and 66 assists so not too bad in the league. It was the uh, second best goal scored, though, 85. Uh, goals conceded 59th was the 10th worst, unfortunately. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the tactic. We'll have a little glance over at Grimsby and Hall, the lower leagues in England. How did uh, Grimsby do? Champions, nice one. Obviously got a couple of players in the top threes as well. And if we go to Hull, they also were champions of their division and they are getting promoted and a couple of players in the top threes. Also, that is is the tactic that was holy ghost fire guys hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you download it and it works absolutely incredible for you let us know how you get on let us know what changes you make to these tactics to make them even better just to help out everybody else don't forget you can join the discord talk about tactics there's a lot on there um everyone to enjoy obviously the community of football manager and uh, also um consider subscribing and liking obviously this video just to help the channel grow Fully appreciate it. Have a great save, everyone. I'm Tucker Jobs. See you later. Bye.